Hey guys, welcome to a YouTube video. Today it's going to be a flea market video. I haven't done one of these in a while because I haven't been able to go to any. So, luckily I was able to go to one and I bought some stuff. And the same flea market, one of my buddies who owns it gave me a job for him to do. So, that's awesome. And I'll talk about that here in a minute. And since I didn't get very much at the flea market, I also threw in some updates. So, first things first, let's show off what I got at the flea market. So, first thing I picked up was this Buck 175 from... 2000 beautiful condition despite the wear it's a north american hunting club edition not in the best shape actually it's got a few rust spots all over it which is going to be cleaned up and it's missing one screw which i can replace that myself but for 12 dollars, heck i was happy with that i didn't have one of these and it's going to clean up really nice beautiful uh, next is an item I'll be putting for sale. This was a gem to find. This is a 1956 to 1966 Case Stockman. Beautiful knife. You really don't find these in this good of shape very often. And from my book I've got right here, this is the stainless model. From 1956 to 1966 nearly mint condition hardly seen any use it's got some spots where there was oil on it over time and i but rebuffed it and there was a small little little chip in this edge but i fixed that and this one will be going for sale on ebay to anybody who wants it again you don't find these in this good of shape very often so beautiful i found something to keep and something for sale to put for sale i mean beautiful knife Try not to get all my fingerprints on that. Uh, next is the job that my buddy at the flea market gave me. He ran into me, so he knew what I do for a living. So he gave me a job. This is a German Boker fruit knife. And it's in somewhat rough condition. The blade has been heavily used. And he gave me these knives in exchange for doing this for him. So I'm going to completely restore this because it's not in the best condition. This thing definitely needs some serious cleanup, but it's in great shape considering I've seen ones in way worse condition. Anyway, so one of the items he gave me was this Imperial Jackknife, which I will completely restore. He gave me this charade, but sadly the blades in this are completely toasted. So what I plan to do is strip this one for parts. The bl This blade is in somewhat good shape, but these two are really no good, so those I'm going to get rid of but i'm going to keep the handles the springs the pins and this blade that's really the only thing worth salvaging uh next is this other charade he gave me this one's a stockman again the blades except for one are toasted so once again i'll get rid of these two blades and keep the handles the springs this blade and that'll really be it and then another knife he gave to me is this and he knew I hate Pakistan, but he threw this in anyway. This is a little baby stockman by Wild Turkey Cutlery, which is a brand out of Pakistan. And then he gave me this, uh, German Sogbuster. I think it's a German Eye Sogbuster, but it has seen better days. This one, I'm going to clean up and see what I can do to it. And if it's not worth selling, I'll just strip it for parts and keep the handle, get rid of the blade. Beautiful. All right, that's all the stuff I got at the flea market. Thank you very much, man. I will look forward to restoring this for you. So next is a couple of updates. So first thing I did is, those who may remember in a previous video, I bought a very large china file, really dirt cheap, at a pawn shop. So... I said that I wasn't going to make any particular design. I was just going to make a knife out of the file and see how it performed. And this is what I came up with. Just a simple spear point design with a simple handle. Very thick for definitely thick stock. But again, I completely just made a simple knife. I wasn't really going for any particular design. So like I said, I'll use this for a while and make a nice beater knife out of it and see what happens. Because I'm pretty sure this being a China file, it's probably not really that good. Uh, next is on my Denix 1911 that my good friend Edward got for me. And I've done some more modifications to this. I put a stronger spring in it, so now it's not rattling around. The only thing you hear rattling around is the hammer. 
and I put a stronger spring in it so that way it sounds more realistic and I polished the barrels so it rides a lot smoother and I put a new spring in the back right here so that way this doesn't just rattle around and then I textured the grips and gave them a little bit of checkering to make it look old beautiful replica again one of my favorites and then next is on a couple of screwdrivers my good friend Outdoors got for me. Those who may remember in one of the older videos, he sent me a whole bunch of brand, a whole bunch of rusted screwdrivers, and I've restored a few of them. Here's a flathead that I completely restored. And then here's another unusual one I restored. And last but not least is this one I modified. This one originally was terribly beat up. The tips were broken, so I actually turned it into a nice little nice little three four sided point dagger basically what I did is I just shaved the point down and turned it into a nice little shiv definitely one deadly little knife and I even added this on the bottom so that's that and last but not least is an update on this stockman my good friend Sean gave to me those who may remember this thing was terribly rusted well it wasn't rusted that bad but it was rusted, and sadly, I, in order to restore this, I had to remove the etching, which I was still perfectly fine with because it came out very beautiful in the end. It looks just like a buck knife, and I was going through several things I could do to try to remove the rust without damaging the pitting. I mean, without damaging the etching, but there was really no way to do that, so I decided to go very lightly with just using some thousand grit and some hand sanding, and there you go. Turned out very beautiful. And now it's a beautiful piece in my collection. All right, that's all the stuff I've got to show. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And as always, stay sharp.